डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम दिस इज द मोस्ट प्रोमिनेंट ऑर्गन सिस्टम इन द बॉडी इट इंक्लूड्स द माउथ पार्ट अ लॉन्ग एलिमेंट्री कैनाल एंड अ पेयर ऑफ सलाइवरी ग्लैंड एलिमेंट्री कैनाल इट इज अ लॉन्ग एंड स्लाइटली कोल्ड ट्यूब विथ अन इवन डायमीटर एंड डिवाइसिबल इन टू थ्री रीजियन फोर गट मिड गट एंड हाइंड गट फोर गट इट इंक्लूड्स माउथ कविटी फेरिंग्स योसोफेगस क्रॉप एंड गजार माउथ कविटी माउथ कविटी इज अ स्मॉल इनडिफाइनेबल स्पेस आउटसाइड माउथ विच सराउंडेड बाय माउथ पार्ट हाइपोफेरिंग डिवाइड प्री ओरल कैविटी इन टू अ पोस्टीरियर पार्ट कॉल्ड सलाइवेरियम इन टू विच कॉमन सलाइवरी डक्ट ओपन एंड एन इंटीरियर पार्ट विच लीड्स टू वर्ड्स माउथ एज ए नेरो फूड पैसेज फूड इज क्रस्ट एंड एक्टेड अपॉन बाय दिसवरी सिक्रीशन इन माउथ कैविटी माउथ माउथ इज अ स्मॉल ओपनिंग एट द बेज ऑफ प्री ओरल कैविटी and leads into pharynx pharynx it is short and tubular and its circular lining is more folded posteriorly esophagus from pharynx arises a long straight narrow and laterally compressed tube called esophagus it runs through the neck and enters thorax to merge with croup croup it is a large thin walled pear shaped sac covered major part of abdominal segment it is the largest part of foregut its internal epithelial and cuticular lining is very much folded its outer surface is covered by a network of trachea crop act as a reservoir for storing of food gizzard crop leads behind into a small cone shaped muscular and thick walled chamber called gizzard it consists of two parts an interior armarium and a posterior stomodial wall armarium the armarium processes internally six longitudinal folds that greatly reduce its lumen longitudinal fold alternate with six longitudinal grooves which also bear small secondary folds cuticular lining of each longitudinal folds form in the interior part a thick plate produced centrally into strong sharp teeth in the posterior part a thin plate behind each longitudinal fold the cuticular lining of the gizzard form a soft cushion like lobe the pet the long backwardly directed hairs which act as strainer and allow only finer food particles to pass into midgut stomodial wall behind pets the posterior end of gizzard extend into the lumen of midgut as a spout like narrow tube the stomodial valve the later fold back on itself and is thus double walled stomodial valve prevents regurgitation of food from midgut into gizzard midgut midgut is the short and narrow tube like middle part of elementary canal also known as mesenteron it is internally lined by glandular epithelium and act like true stomach serving mainly for digestion and absorption hepatic cecia opening into the interior end of midgut are seven or eight short narrow blindly ending hollow tube called hepatic cecia these are internally lined by epithelium and secrete digestive enzyme malpighian tubules from the junction of midgut and hindgut 80 to 19 very narrow thread like yellow color blind tubules projecting freely into hemocil these are called malpighian tubules hindgut the posterior 
one third part of elementary canal forms the hind gut. It is divided into three regions, ilium, colon, and rectum. Ilium is a narrow and short tube, and its posterior end is characterized by the possession of six tiny triangular lobes internally, bearing spicules and axon as a short of sphincter. Colon. Colon is long and wide, thin, and irregular shape. Rectum. Rectum is an oval or spindle shaped set with external ridges alternating with internal longitudinal thickenings called rectal pits. These are six in number and also known as rectal glands. Rectum opens to outside by anus. Thank you.